hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here um my name is ayoba mibakai thank you for clicking on my video um if this is your second time here thank you so so much i really do appreciate you guys so i do hope everybody has been enjoying like this series on admission that i've been doing for different countries so we're still going to go back to usa because i feel like there's always something to unravel there's always something to learn about so today in my videos i'm going to be talking about how nursing medicine um law how those things um work here in the usa especially for people that want to study courses like that so basically in the u.s i don't know how it is i think in nigeria you go to university then you go to law school or then you go to the um, medical school so so basically here in the u.s what you have is they are called pre pre whatever let's say you want to study law you have like a pre-law track you have a pre-med track for those of you that want to do medicine and i think um there's also for veterinary doctors and all of that so there's pre-med there's pre-law there's pre-pharmacy what is pre 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 all of these things what they actually do mean mean is like you do a set of courses like a prerequisite before you actually get into nursing school or law school so here in the u.s is like i know that for nursing students they do one or two years of Pre nursing before they actually go into nursing school for their remaining on um, bachelor's degree so for those of you that want to study courses like that what I would suggest that you look for is um, when you're searching not just search for schools offering nursing in the USA but schools um, but also now go to the particular school website I know I keep saying the school's website but I can't give you um, a more precise information now for you to go to the school's website then or also if you can call them if you can send them emails please do that with all of your questions send it to them i've recently just found out that calling them and speaking with them and to them is more or less like you have the correct information they are ascertaining what they've said on their website because i just found out that so many schools put different things on their website that they do not mean or that doesn't apply to international students so please make sure to check with your school and this is for undergraduate students i know that more for most schools graduate schools would be like um as an international student you have to have um a track with evaluation and all of that so if you're a graduate student please make sure that if you know you can't afford your transcript evaluation at the time please make sure to check for schools that do not have transcript evaluation so as i was saying you have the pre-med you have pre-law so pre-law is basically okay so because there are like certain exams that you write if you do certain courses like the way as an accountant in nigeria you write i can exams to like show that you're chartered or that you're certified in some way or another they do that here in the u.s so you have to take some board exams there's a law school admission test so a lot of schools like your nursing or your law school has or your medical school they have tests that you take to get into those schools so it's one thing for you to get into the university so let's use my school for example let's use vcu if you are getting to vcu for your nursing program that doesn't mean you're going to nursing school you now have to take a certain exam after a period i think after one year because i have friends that wrote their um the prerequisite exam before they could get into um nursing school so it's when you write those exams you now pass that's when you now get into nursing school or law school or medical school so if you're a what's that word now if you're an international student that wants to um go into any of those courses what i would advise you to do is before you even apply to the school check if they have pre-med courses check if they have like pre-med tracks um pre-nursing tracks pre-law tracks they are most likely called pre-professional tracks so please make sure so what that means is you would necessarily just jump into the program itself so please make sure to i feel like 
have that mentality, have that knowledge that you are not coming straight into nursing school, you are going to do prerequisites before you now go, um, before you now write your particular exam. I know for law, they have law school admission test, the LSAT that you would write, then when you write it, that means you are now in law school, um, when you now get accepted or when you pass, they would let you know the certain pass mark or pass grade then after that that's when you now know oh i'm actually going to be a law student i'm actually going to study law because most times i've spoken with a lot of people i think i'm going to like eventually start bringing people on here to talk about like their programs and how they did it so for those programs the thing is um you getting into those you doing your prerequisites they most likely like I know someone that's studying nursing now, but like her prerequisite courses were most likely not like they went too streamlined to, to nursing. Like she was able to do psychology, do a bit of this, do a bit of that. I feel like it just gives you that basis, like that foundation for you to actually be like, okay, this is what I want to do. Even as a business major here, um, if you're doing anything related to commerce, business, accounting, you're a business major. So, they will, um, what they have here, and I'm not sure if it's the same in other schools, but I feel like it should be the same. It isn't until your junior year, which is your 300 level, that you can actually declare your major. And when they say declare your major, that means it isn't until 300 level that you're not like, okay, this is what I am studying. This is, this is, um the degree i want to come out of school with this is the degree i want to graduate with so as a business major i feel like you should actually not necessarily only business majors but if you're coming to school here in the u.s don't streamline yourself to be like oh i want to do mechanical engineering for example so i must only do mechanical engineering courses no look into so many things there are so many beautiful courses that are coming up that a lot of people don't even know about so don't, definitely don't streamline yourself i'll tell you my friends please don't streamline yourself to those things so most of the like for you to do on um, pre-med for you to get into um whatever you can have like any major so when i say major like any degree any course of study but you must have like certain courses so what your school or your advisor does is they let you know the courses that you need to do for you to be able to declare your major for you to be able to declare that you're on a pre-med track so um I know that most pre-med tracks will ask you to do biology, physics, chemistry, maybe mathematics, even sometimes writing. So it's not something for you to fear because your school will definitely have somebody like talking to you about it. I know that for my first semester, it was my advisor that picked my courses because they were like the prerequisites then the semester after that you are now able to select your courses but you still have to speak with your um advisor before that and be like okay so where are we now where where am i on my major map so don't i'm not giving you like things to look out in um for in schools before applying to them check their major map check their major path like there's always a section i feel like any school that doesn't put out like a major map I'm not saying school is bad, but I just feel like they're not letting you be involved in your own um, education. But when you have like a major map, you're able to see like the courses that I'm going to do for um my freshman fall semester, my freshman spring semester, and then you you are more um inclined, like you know that okay, this is what I want to do. And for those of you that might want to even read their head, you know that okay, this is what I'm going to do this semester, you're able to plan yourself. So look into their major map, look into their curriculum, look into some of the courses that you'll be offering, especially for those of you that don't know the like what major you want to do yet. If you have like an inclination, maybe you want to do something like business, something like law, something like pre-med, look into the courses that they have in that program. If it's related to something that you want to do, definitely that means that, okay, if you definitely do this, it's something that you are more happy to do than you just getting into the degree because of the name. Like, um, I just found that like healthcare services is different from healthcare administration. So please, um, 
look into these courses these are some terminologies that i would say look into like search for them on your school's website the school's degree bulletin or courses bulletin um degree major maps degree requirements some schools will have prerequisites like um i know that for you to um do anything related to health in some schools you have to do your math um you have to write the math exam you have to write the chemistry exam yeah i know you have to do that then for business majors you have to write math exams so definitely these are things that i would say look into and so many schools um have advisors that will let you know that okay this is what you should do this is what you shouldn't do so your advisor is your friend and pray before you apply to a school so that pray regarding your advisor like someone that actually genuinely is going to support you someone that is not going to be like oh maybe actually for those of you that might want to switch later on not that person that is not going to be like oh, are you sure you can pass it are you sure you can do this have an advisor that is realistic with you but is also going to push you to get your goals like i feel like my advisor and i are somehow close I actually considered the father and sister my first year and I feel like we're going to be very very good friends because she's the kind of person that is like do you want to do it like she sends me like ask them for these things before you even go into them like there might be some things you want to look into maybe you want to have a mind or maybe you want to do a double major those things are available here in the US don't streamline yourself to just mechanical engineering especially if you want to do mechanical engineering and you still want to do something related to business you could do a minor in business you could do a double major all of these things are available so i just had to say that for this video so as a lot of people are still watching vid on other videos in this series please make sure to watch this video also if you're wondering where do i want to start from what are the things i should look out for these are the things that i would say that um they would help you so definitely um what I usually do is, um, when I list, before I even start applying, I would have some YouTubers, I would just put their videos on one side and listen to it as I'm looking for the schools. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed these videos and that it was um, informative for you. Please let me know um, any other type of videos you guys are looking out for. See you guys. Bye.